the second of three shooters on this episode comes from the newest third-party publisher on the Mega Drive, Hot B. Insect Directs is a port of a 1989 arcade game from Taito. Man, the Mega Drive is just stinking with Taito games at this point. As you can see, if nothing else, Insector X has an original premise. Rather than a lone spaceship pilot rampaging through endless enemy forces across deep space or alien worlds, you're a lone bug thing rampaging through endless enemy insect forces across some pretty strange looking levels. Everything from ancient Egypt to what looks like somebody's backyard to a modern cityscape. Developer and publisher Hot B is mostly remembered for its Black Bass fishing series. In fact, it's safe to say it's the developer that drove the popularity of the fishing game back in the 90s. Hot B was founded in 1983, originally as a partnership between various advertising agencies. Like a lot of different companies back then, Hot B saw money to be made in video games and jumped into the home computer gaming scene releasing its first PC game in 1984 under the label Gamma. I really like Insector X. The uniqueness may only seem like a visual thing, but the game does stand out because of it. And I really like the enemy variety. Each insect you face features very distinct behavior, requiring you to switch up your strategy pretty frequently as well as make use of your special weapons if you have them. Insector X can get pretty brutal though. Stay alive and you get to take advantage of a power-up system that's constantly upgrading your weapons. Die though and you go back to your original pea shooter which is pretty useless in later levels. Sector X gets the bosses right, too. Each end-level boss is large and pretty nicely detailed, and they all have different attack patterns and weapons. There's a bit of a question around the development of Insector X. Although the arcade game was originally released by Taito, all the research I could find suggests that Hot B developed the coin-op as well. The weird thing is that this port doesn't really look like Insector X did in the arcade. Coin-Up was a cutesy arcade shooter featuring lovable-looking characters with big googly eyes. The Mega Drive game, while almost identical gameplay and setting-wise, looks like it was completely reskinned to be a more mature shooter. There's nothing wrong with the change, it's just a little odd. In a 2008 interview on the Game Developer Research Institute with Kimihiro Indo, it was suggested that the Mega Drive version was actually co-developed by Hot B and Genki. Genki is responsible for tons of games across multiple platforms and genres. It's probably best known in North America for its Tokyo Extreme Racer series. Considering the company was founded in 1990, Insector X represents some of Genki's earliest work. <laughs> 